Thank you, uh, Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Energy. I'm handing uh, Paige Adam a copy of a book to deliver to, uh, of the People's Guarantee to deliver to. <laughs> I, uh, that's not the place for this. Carry on. Speaker, he's the uh, member from Sudbury, the member who did an interview with the Sudbury Star, obviously without reading the section of our platform that he referenced. I asked the minister to turn to page 67. The page has been flagged for you. Uh, speaker, I would ask the minister to please read into the record the paragraph in blue. Minister of Transportation is warned. I'll win if you test my result every time. Finish, please. Thank you. I was asking the minister to read into the record the paragraph in blue on the left-hand side. Thank Thank you. Minister of energy. Mr. Speaker, I'm glad this is a question related to energy because uh, you know I could talk all about how they're actually trying to sneak in our plan into theirs because they voted against it, but they can't come up with a good idea, so they use ours. When it comes to Mr. Speaker looking at investing in Northern Ontario. It is this government that is bringing forward investment after investment for Northern Ontario, and they actually hide that, Mr. Speaker, in $6 billion in cuts. What are they going to cut, Mr. Speaker? Is it teachers? Is it nurses? Is it the infrastructure that we're building in Northern Ontario and his community, Mr. Speaker? Is that what they're talking about? So I'd be happy if they could read into the record, Mr. Speaker, all the cuts that they're going to make, all the cuts that they're going to make sure that the people of Ontario are going to continue to suffer on, Mr. Speaker, because that is the history and the legacy of that party, Mr. Yes, Speaker. Making sure that they can cut everything and making sure people suffer, we build this Thank you. province up and we'll continue Thank you. Supplementary. Well, Speaker, I can understand the Liberals' problem with a 22.5% tax cut. They've never delivered one before. Exactly. That's why they don't understand exactly. it, Speaker. Exactly. This minister told the Sudbury Star, quote, there's nothing on... Stop the clock. The Minister of Finance is warned. And for the last 13 minutes, if it gets a little higher, we'll go into naming. If you decide. Finish. Told the Sudbury Star, quote, there's nothing on Neo Kids in the platform, but page 67, the one he won't read, it clearly lays out the PC support for Neo Kids. If the minister won't read the paragraph into the record, then I will. Quote, Patrick Brown and the Ontario PCs will expand the Neo Kids health hub in Sudbury, and it goes on, Speaker. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about $45 million towards expanding the Neo Kids Health, Club, uh, Health Hub and other uh, organizations, uh, Speaker. Why did the minister say something that he knows is completely untrue? Is it because the, his Liberal government yeah, has no plans Question. for Neo Kids? Mr. Speaker, will the member from Sudbury correct his record and Thank stand you. up for Sudbury families? Yeah. I've made these comments before, and I'll continue to repeat them and ask the members to follow what I've asked them to do. You don't talk about the other members riding under how they represent. It's not conducive to this place. Finish, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. When you look at what they're talking about in their document, we know there's $6 billion of cuts, but they're talking about $45 million and four programs in that piece, Mr. Speaker, and it's actually a $40 million program that the Neo Kids is looking for, something that they maybe should learn about, Mr. Speaker, because when it comes to Northern Ontario, when it comes to Sudbury, let's talk about what we've invested. $2 million for the hospice, Mr. Speaker. $26 million for Maley Drive, Mr. Speaker. We've got $23 million for new schools coming in there, Mr. Speaker. That is a endless list of investments that we're seeing in Northern Ontario thanks to this government. We are expanding. 
Highway 69. We've invested in the Sioux. We've invested in North Bay, Mr. Speaker. We're investing, making sure that we're building this province up. So while they continue to guarantee cuts to the people of Ontario, we will continue to guarantee to build this province up and look after our province, unlike the opposition.